Well, another scorcher across the Southland. Meteorologist Marina Jerka is back with your next weather forecast. Marina, it's hard to believe how hot it's already getting. It is. And then here in Santa Monica, we're still dealing with that marine layer. So that will slowly start to move in, but very breezy. You can see along the coastline and we are starting to see uh, that boardwalk get a little bit busier here almost uh, at the midday, but 71 degrees. So it's still pretty warm for it to be overcast there, but we will be looking at the 80s for our coastline, but triple digits once again soaring as you head inland. 79 in Santa Ana with plenty of sunshine there right now and as soon as that coastal fog lifts the temperatures will get a boost but today is the hottest day for everyone of the week it doesn't mean that it's going to be a cool weekend just a smidge cooler but very poor air quality because of those fireworks last night especially in the valleys and it is going to be warm for the stretch so currently right now we've got 91 in Pasadena 87 in Burbank 88 in Simi Valley 65 in Malibu 73 in Laguna Beach 94 in Riverside but already 106 in Palmdale and 111 in Santa Clarita so it is heating up and it will continue to head in that direction as we move into really the next week. So the next few hours in downtown LA, we have lots of sunshine, but it is hazy sunshine, 86 degrees by two o'clock and we'll top out at 87 at four. So today is the hottest day. We are double stacked. We've got high pressure to the north, high pressure to the east, and it has just created this dome over the entire state and the entire really western portion of the United States. So because of that, we have those excessive heat warnings and heat advisories through Monday, and it's not moving. Once it creates that dome, it's almost like a baseball cap. So it just caps all of that heat in here, and we don't have a lot of air movement. So because of that, we also deal with poor air quality. So because of the fireworks last night, the air is stagnant. So all of that pollution is just going to sit there because there is nothing to drive it out. And with the heat alerts on top of everything, if you suffer from any respiratory issues, just try not to be outdoors for the next couple of days. But the bulk of our viewing area, except for the coastline under either a heat advisory in orange or an excessive heat warning, which is there in the pink high temperatures this afternoon. We'll be looking at a couple of 106s for Riverside and San Bernardino. We're going to be looking at 115 for Santa Clarita, 114 for Palmdale, 100 for Simi Valley and Claremont, and then the 80s along the coast. And the 80s will rain the LA and OC metro area for the next week, but that's still well above normal for this time of year. 82 is the average high. And for the next seven days in the valleys, you can see that excessive heat warning all the way through Monday. 109 today, 104 by the end of next week. So it is still going to be hot for a stretch. And then for the Inland Empire, 106 today as those triple digits hold strong for the high desert as well. Those low desert mountains in the 90s and the beaches are our only cool spot in the upper 70s, Amy. KCAL News, more news than any other local station. We're here when you want your news here on KCAL at 9 and 10. Then on CBS Los Angeles at 11. KCAL News on CBS Los Angeles tonight at 11. Now you can get your KCAL News weather and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.